Hello! In this video I am going to show you how to triple tune a marimba bar. Now, here's a marimba bar that has already been triple tuned. Um, you can clearly see the grooves here, here and here influencing the three frequencies we want to uh, bring into pitch. Um, the outer groove here mostly influences the F4 that is two octaves above the fundamental. The small grooves here, just left and right of the center, um, those influence only the fundamental frequency and right in the middle, if we are removing material here, right in the middle, this lowers the fundamental and the F10 frequency. Now uh, this bar is supposed to be a F sharp of the lowest octave and uh, I've just done the measurements on this bar and some final adjustments on these little grooves here and uh, I can show you that the frequencies are quite exactly there where they should be. Have a look. So this is the, this is the spectrum of the F sharp bar just shown. So here you see the first peak, it's the fundamental frequency, which is almost there. Then we have another peak here, that's two octaves higher, meaning a four time frequency than from the fundamental. If we go back four times, it must be roughly 800, so here we are. And the third peak is at approximately 9 to 10 times the fundamental frequency so this should be around somewhere at 1800 Hertz and here it is it is around 1819 and it should be on uh, 1825 so that's fine with me um, this bar actually produces some more overtones here and here but these are not relevant for our tuning process we're interested of course primarily in the fundamental, then in the one, the F4, two octaves above, and the F10, as I call it. Now, um, next steps, I show you how I do this. Okay, so this bar is not tuned, uh, it shall be tuned to a this, D sharp, and uh, so the length of it should be 426 millimeters. Let's check. Okay, it's 426 millimeters. The arc starts at 107 millimeters. That's about here. Um, it extends to 320 millimeters, and that's about here. draw a line so that I can make a clean cut and in this area here I am going to remove six millimeters of material using a router. Okay so here is the router workbench I fixed the bar in this check here that's the router it has a six milli, uh, sorry, a 12 millimeter drill on it. Um, there is a vacuum cleaner connected to it, so to suck away the dust and the, the small fragments of the wood. And uh, I am now going to remove six millimeters deep of material in this area here. Uh, watch out! This is going to be very loud, so I'm plugging in my earplugs. And uh, here we go.
Here is what the bar looks like. Now let's measure it. Okay. Now we three spikes already. That's good. We have one at the C above it, so target frequency is 156, we have 261, that's fine. Uh, F4 at 897, this should be on 626, so plenty of room to tune it to bring it down. And F10 at 1739, and it should be 1534. So uh, quite close, but uh, nothing to worry about. There's plenty of room for tuning. Now, the first frequency I'm going to bring into pitch is this, the F4, the second overtone here, by removing material in this area. Because lowering the F4 also lowers uh, F0 or the fundamental quite a bit but there's plenty of room and so I start lowering the F4 until it fits where it should be. So after 10 iterations of measuring and removing material I've got the uh, F4 almost there where it should be. It should be at 626 Hz and it dropped a bit too low on 620. Now here are the different measurements during the process. So here's the red one. We started out at 873 and then went down to 833, down to 794, down to 669 and so on until we finally after yeah, let's say 10 iterations or so, we're down at 620. Just a fraction too low, but uh, the last groove here is really, really, you can see the, the very small step here. Okay, now with the F4 where it should be, let's have a look at the F10. You see it, it also moved a bit from, from that red one here down, always going down. Let's see where's the last, yeah, 620 is the last measurement. Yeah, so we're actually at 1584 and it should be at 34, so that's really not much to go and the fundamental is at 161 and this should be at 156 so this is almost spot on so what I need to do is um, to remove material right in the center here but very very carefully and keep a close eye on the F10 and then we'll continue so the bar is ready um, you can have a look at it you see in the center groove I had to manually scrap away material. It was very close already. Um, at this bar no need to place additional grooves here in that area since the F10 is right where it should be. Now proof. Here we are. It's a D sharp in the middle and above. Now let's have a look at the spectrum. Now we have a D sharp or E flat spot on. We have the two octaves above almost spot on and the F10 it should be 1534 and it's 36 and I think that's fine for a bar. So uh, this is it. This is a triple tuned D sharp bar. I hope you enjoyed this video and 
even more enjoy the sound of this triple tuned bar. Fundamental, F4, somewhere up there is the F10. Bye!